Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd show you how to use Audacity to split an audio file up into multiple files. A lot of times you might have a larger audio file and you might want to break it down into smaller f files to work on smaller files instead of the larger files. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to File and we're going to open up the file that we want to work on and this is a WAV file right here. And when it's opened up into Audacity we can see actually the entire waveform of the entire file right here so it's shrunk it down so first thing you want to do is hold down control and hit 2 and that will uh, zoom out so that it's a normal size this is the size you would normally see if you were recording a file uh, we can also zoom into it more using uh, control 1 so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to create labels and each label will actually label an area in the file that will become an, a separate file. Now there are a couple ways we can do this. Uh, one way we can do it is we can just pick an area and, and move our cursor towards it and move the uh, playhead, this line right here, to that area and then we can go and we can go to uh, edit labels and then add a label section. So we can manually set up a label section and we can go through the file doing that and we can name the label section whatever we want down here. So let's, we named it label one, for example. And then we can stretch out the label actually either way. And this area right here is the labeled area and this is the area that would become a separate file. So that's one way that we could do it. So we could go throughout the file to do that. But there's a quicker way that we can do it, actually. So uh, the quicker way to do it is to go up here to select. We're going to select the entire file. And uh, we're going to go over here to Tools, and we're going to go to Regular Interval Labels. There are two different versions of it here. It's really the same uh, plugin, uh, but I have the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. So I'm just going to pick one of them. doesn't matter which one. So here we have um, the attributes of uh, where it's going to put labels down. Now, this is a five minute clip. It's a little over five minutes. So I'm going to want five labels for this. And I'm going to set them at a, a minute or 60 seconds a piece. So I'm going to put the intervals at 60 second. The label region I'm going to put it 60 seconds as well, so it, it will uh, it will not only uh, put a label every 60 seconds; it will make that label 60 seconds wide. So, so uh, then if we go down here, it says, "What do you want the label?" Here you can label this whatever you would like. Uh, I'm going to label this as uh, drum sample because this track is uh, is a drum track. And uh, the rest of this you can use as a uh, default and it will put a number in front of each one. So we'll number all of the files or all of the labels and it will put the name after it. So you'll end up with uh, files with a number and a name that you designate. So we're gonna click okay here and it says five uh, uh, region labels at intervals of 60 seconds. Each region is 60 seconds. And we go OK. And uh, what it's done is it's made these, uh, let's zoom out a bit here. So you can see uh, it's, it's made a label that's 60 seconds wide on each one of these uh, sections here. So one thing we, we want to do is we want to zoom back in and we want to scroll along here till we get to where this label is here. And uh, we can actually adjust this point a little bit so that it, it doesn't cut right in the middle of a sound wave right there. So you want to just go to each one and, and adjust it to where you think it will work best. And you can actually you can actually uh, put the playhead here, 
and listen to the soundtrack as well, uh, or listen to the audio file as well to help you place where the uh, split is going to be if you need to. And so now this last one, this this uh, clip is five minutes and eight seconds long, or a little over eight seconds, I guess. And so because we uh, made the intervals at 60, uh, this is actually going to cut it a little bit short, so we can move this all the way down to the end of the file. So our last file will be a little bit longer than a minute. It will be a minute and eight seconds. Or actually, it's going to be a little bit different than that since we've moved the starts and stops around a little bit. Each of these will be slightly longer or shorter than a minute. So now that we've got all of our labels set up, now all we have to do is go up to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to go Export Multiple. You want to uh, select the folder that you want the uh, files to go into, and you want to select the format that you want it saved to. We're going to save it to WAVE in this instance. Then we're going to go Export. And then it gives you an opportunity for each track to add, you know, different things into these tags right here, which you can choose to do or do later, or however you want to do it. So we're going to just hit OK and go through these. And so it's saved all of the uh, samples or all of the... Uh, labels to separate files here so we end up with five files and so when we look in the folder you can see that we still have the original track here that's five minutes and eight seconds and these other tracks which range from 59 seconds to one minute and seven seconds right here so now we can open up each of these individual files and work on them however we want to do and make adjustments to them and they're in a more manageable size you can actually make the file size any size that you want to do uh, and you could actually make labels in a file cut down to the exact size you wanted to and uh, you could put those in separate files if you want to work that way as well I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters whatever you do enjoy the day and I'll see you soon don't forget to like share and subscribe